Good afternoon, traders. It is Wednesday, October 24th, 2018, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, the Dow really took a day, d dive today. Dow uh, went down 608 points. Uh, this is historically significant because as of today we have wiped out all the gains previous gains from uh, 2018 so today for the first day we're in negative territory with regard to uh, gains in all the indexes uh, the Dow, just this month alone, the Dow has lost 7.1%. The S&P has lost 8.9%. And the NASDAQ has lost um, an incredible 11.7%. Um, the Blue Chip Index has been down five straight weeks and that is the worst run that we've seen since 2008. So um, clearly we are in correction territory at this point. Uh, a word of caution however I've been through a lot of corrections, and corrections aren't corrections unless they scare the hell out of everybody and blood is flowing in the street. So, um, corrections are sometimes healthy for uh, the market, and I would remind people, and this may sound self-serving, but um, the Dow may have wiped out all its gains for 2018. Our gains have not been wiped out. And that's uh, one of the advantages of trading a system like we have. Because overall, we do not do uh, we do a lot of buying when the stock stocks go up we do less buying when stocks go down and today's a good example uh, Dow fell uh, 608 points we closed out negative 3700 and we got into only one position and that's negative 1400 now that's not a good day but you know that's not a disaster at all Think of the people who are buying and holding stocks. What happened to them? They just get totally demolished on a day like this. And we're, we're not demolished, you know. And we could make this up pretty quickly with, you know, maybe two, three, four uh, upside days. Uh, we could make up money even. We could make up quite a bit even on a dead cat bounce from this. So, uh I, I just refuse to think that it's all doom and gloom. I have, as you know, been using a uh, somewhat modified uh, way of developing um, stock portfolios pretty much all year long. And um, I believe even though 2018 may not, uh, at least to date, been our most stellar year, I believe that th that method has um, tempered our losses. And I have not lost faith in that method. I think it we could have done much, much worse than we have to date. But, you know, I don't know if you buy that or not, but... Uh, like I say, it could be a whole lot worse given the condition of the market right now. But 
clearly we are in correction territory and the trend for stocks right now is down and it's a tough making money um, on the long side in a down market I just am reluctant to reverse things and I'm reluctant to pull out because I know things can reverse very quickly and usually the doom and gloomers are the ones that lose money in the end that's been my experience anyway so we closed out negative 3700 we're carrying one position this negative uh, 1400 going in tomorrow and the Dow's down 608 I'll show you just a couple stocks that we did trade uh, thought I had to straighten out okay this was this is kind of shows you what we're up against yesterday this is um GoPro Incorporated and we uh, bought this yesterday a big run up it we almost got the high of the market there and then this morning it gaps down and starts down we get out here now that costs us three thousand dollars but uh, you know we do have stops on our positions and look what would have happened had we hung on to this I mean Think of this, if we're uh, a buy and hold person, uh, this would have added, you know, we're, we're down 10, 11,000 down here if we'd hung on to this. We didn't, we get out, we took our losses, and when we did have one stock, and I showed this to you yesterday, that, that we actually made money, and that helps offset those losses. Didn't cut our losses, didn't turn our losses to profits but it certainly helped uh, this is Sensonics Holdings Incorporated and we bought this on this big gap here it ran pretty hard yesterday we got a little gap this morning and we sold this thing almost at the top but Sensonics also sold off but we got out of it up here and we made uh, $3,200 on that so that just a little more than offset that bad trade in GoPro uh, but of course we had some other bad trades too but nevertheless even on a horrible day like today we managed one profitable trade so hey listen it's really tough trading is tough but I am still optimistic about um the overall results here uh, let's hang in there and see what happens uh, in the next few weeks and particularly after the elections Trey Bob sign off see you tomorrow on Thursday